Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from UnleashedPhones.com and today I'm going to talk to you about MHL. So a couple of buddies of mine stopped by my house the other day and they didn't quite understand how I was sending video from my phone to my TV. All that over a wire and that got me into explaining MHL. So then I figured I'd just make this video to avoid having to explain MHL to more people later on. So MHL stands for Mobile High Definition Link. It's a clever bit of technology that allows you to connect your smartphone or tablet to a TV or monitor. Heck, you can even connect it to an audio or video receiver if you want to and the list of supporting devices is growing every day. It's also not dependent on platforms though right now only Android devices seem to support it and hopefully going forward Windows Phone will as well. So the MHL standard or rather the MHL consortium was set up by a couple companies including Silicon Image and they partnered with Sony, Samsung, Nokia and Toshiba all to create MHL. So this basically means that a single cable with a 5 pin digital interface can transmit up to 4K resolution video and surround sound all while charging charging your device at the same time. The standard allows you to send uncompressed high definition video or audio right over a single connector and it uses connectors that are already present on many mobile devices like a micro USB connector or even an HDMI connector. I met up with a couple of the guys from MHL at CES last month and I recorded a couple of videos about it starting with how easy it is to transmit a 4K video from your smartphone to a 4K supporting TV. You should see that video playing in a little thumbnail right over there maybe. Of course your phone needs to be able to support this feature and only a couple flagship phones are powerful enough to do this right now. The Sony Xperia Z3, Xperia Z3 Compact and Galaxy Note 4 can project 4K video right now. Older devices can also project video but they can project up to 1080p resolution video instead. Considering the price of 4K TVs, I don't think that's a big issue for most of us. MHL even had a prototype device which was projecting 8K resolution video to an 8K resolution Samsung TV which is pretty insane and I can't even imagine the cost of that TV. Apart from this, on a supported phone you can connect it to your TV and then use your TV remote to control your phone which is kind of very cool and I have a video about that as well right over here as you can see in that video you can use the remote to play pause or control your device which is pretty cool because you can relax on your couch and do this right with the remote and you don't have to fiddle with your phone instead but my favorite feature of MHL is that you can play games on your phone on your TV instead you can play these games right on your phone or you can get a supported Bluetooth controller or a Bluetooth keyboard then maybe use one of these cables to connect your phone to your TV and that's it your smartphone or tablet becomes a kind of a mini console. The video next to me right now will give you a short demonstration of that and I played Rail Racing 3. What's interesting is that Rail Racing 3 is a pretty graphic intensive game and there was no lag in the game while it was projecting this to a TV. That is pretty damn cool. Another video I recorded is how MHL can be used in cars and vehicles right now. Basically you can connect your phone to an infotainment unit and then use that to access your GPS, your music or basically any apps on your phone. The video I recorded of that is of a prototype unit so it's a little bit buggy but it's still worth checking out just to see the future of what your phone can do. And lastly MHL is also pretty useful in the field of education where instead of having an expensive laptop you can just use your phone and connect it to a TV to display any classroom homework or lessons. Alright so that was a quick introduction to what MHL is and what it can do. In case you're wondering in India you can get these MHL cables at online retailers like Amazon or Flipkart. They usually have a little MHL logo right over here uh, which will let you know that it's an authorized product. You can also walk into a Sony store or a Samsung store and they should have an MHL to HDMI adapter for you. There's also a whole bunch of other multi-brand companies that also might stock MHL adapters as well. That being said, I would strongly advise that you do some research and make sure that your phone supports it. Right now, one of the few manufacturers that don't support MHL is LG which uses Slimport instead, which is strange because their TVs use MHL. As always guys, if you have any questions about it, you can let me know right in the comment section below or check out the detailed post over at UnleashedPhones.com. And don't forget if you found this video useful, maybe hit the like button or maybe subscribe because that would be appreciated and that's about it thanks for watching guys